what can you, what can you paint really? What's 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 a valid what's a valid subject for a painting really? What's a valid emotion to try to uh, exploit in a painting? What do I paint? I paint landscapes sometimes with figures in them. I think that um, that's that's all that's important to know really until you actually see the paintings. <laughs> yeah. The only other place to be put would have been there. Can you make a painting like that that doesn't become completely sug sugar, sugary or saccharine-like? You know, it just makes you feel like being ill. Can a work of art sort of hover in that area? And that's was this is what I was trying to do with a lot of these paintings. Yeah, I mean, this painting actually started as uh, as one panel, which is this panel here. And it was based on a, um, a, a newspaper photograph which uh, showed many skiers on a, on a, a Japanese mountain. It was a way of um, using the material um, in a kind of atmospheric way, I suppose, um, maybe referring to paintings I'd seen by other artists, um, impressionist painters. Um, I was trying to make a painting that, in a way, sort of transcended kitsch or notions of kitsch. Um, I suppose as well. Probably move it a little bit that way. I mean, I think that you know, if I, if I observe a lot of the paintings in the exhibition, I think that they are often made as one-offs, and then as time goes on, they become uh, they seem to fit more into a group. Um, that just seems to be the way I, I, that I that I work, really. I think with this this group of paintings, I also wanted to try and um, you know maybe um, create a, an environment. I was attracted to kind of you know the contrast between um, the kind of built and the natural. Um, I was attracted to the way nature seemed to be sort of encroaching on it, really. I thought this was actually um, very banal, banal in a way. This this idea that um, someone's just what's he doing? He's looking down at the ground. He's um, he's looking at his reflection. Maybe he's thinking. Um, he's not really doing anything. There's no action. The action is is there's no action. Um, I think that's what attracted it to me really. How do you make a, a still painting? Um, you know, you'd think that maybe there should be some action or there should be some activity, but really. Uh, the action's all in, 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 in his head, and then in turn in your head, I guess, as a viewer. You know, you have to bring yourself into the picture. You know, when you're in a studio in London, um, you know, you're in a, in a warehouse studio, say, that I was in London, where you, you know, you have, you don't really look out the window. <laughs> There's no views, uh, or, and, and as soon as you step outside, it's very gray. Um, working in Trinidad, um, on the other hand, although my studio is in a warehouse still, um, you know, you're very, very, one of the first things you're aware of is just how bright the colors are on the street, literally, I mean. I've been running a film club in, in Trinidad for the last five years in my studio every Thursday evening. And um, it's a cinema that's free. Um, anyone who's interested can come. And um, we wanted to bring this to Frankfurt um, as part of this exhibition. The posters are always to be shown as a group, not to be shown individually, because they're not really <laughs> so much of interest as individual artworks. They're really as, a, as it's just the kind of the group really. And uh, we you know we realise it's a very different situation here in Frankfurt than it is in Port of Spain, Trinidad, where we have. Um, no cinema that shows anything other than Hollywood or, or Bollywood films. This is one of my most recent paintings, um, Man Dressed as Bat, and it's this idea of a man um, who kind of transforms himself uh, every um, once a year at carnival time into a, another being, in this case a kind of spectre-like creature, which is a bat. Um, I placed him on a ledge, kind of overlooking the city. Um, hard to tell the city necessarily, but the horizon, boats in the water. I really don't know what I'll paint next necessarily. I think it's. I think that's one of the reasons to to, to paint is because it's. Uh, it is kind of. It is the unknown really. Um, 
but that's that's what makes it daunting and that's what makes it exciting. Thank you. <laughs> On that note. <laughs>